subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hello friends this is vijay bambwani and i've been trading these markets since 1986 and i've had the pleasure and privilege of learning in the markets on the fly through trial and error with real time trades and many of you must be wondering as to when the current phase of bearishness in the market will terminate and the sun will start to shine again on the bulls all over again in this video i want to help you with three do it yourself or diy indicators that you can plot at home either on a chart paper with a, uh, a piece of paper and pencil or if you're savvy enough you can do it uh, digitally in microsoft word microsoft excel or even online in many websites so let's plunge right in and the first chart that you're seeing on your screen is the advance decline ratio no rocket science here as the very name suggests this is the uh, ratio of the number of shares advancing versus the number of shares falling why am i looking at that and why should you care because this is a gauge or a measure of the risk appetite of one marshmallow traders who are one marshmallow traders these are traders who basically square up their positions intraday and they do not roll over their positions long or shorts to the next day now as you can see on that chart the advance decline ratio has been falling sustainably and it is sticking below zero for many weeks now this is a weekly chart that means that week after week the bulls are simply buying far less then the bears are selling which is why the market is falling the first indicator that the bulls are now returning should be when the advance decline ratio turns positive for at least three consecutive trading sessions that will be your first alarm bell indicator warning cue call it what you want but you should monitor this and where do you get this data very simple you should get it on your on your broker's trading terminal on the website of your trading uh, your broker's uh, 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 official website and definitely on the national stock exchange's website itself so do monitor this you can plot this like i said either by hand on a, a piece of paper or digitally using excel or any other tool the second indicator that i want you to watch is the basis now what is the basis don't get intimidated this complicating sounding sounding word is nothing but the premium enjoyed by the future over spot why do you look at it because it is a measure of the risk appetite of two marshmallow traders who are two marshmallow traders now these are guys who roll over their long positions or short positions to the next trading session they have a higher risk appetite they have deeper pockets they pay mark to market money they pay span margins to dig their heels into the ground into their trade and stay put so the indications of the two marshmallow guys are stronger than the indications of the one marshmallow guy now what is the basis the basis like i told you is the premium enjoyed by future over cash and if you ever traded options you will realize that options premium tends to be the biggest at the beginning of the derivative cycle and as time passes it starts to compress or it is called time decay so also futures premium also erodes with time but hypothetically speaking at the beginning of a derivative cycle the futures premium should be extremely high and then it should start to compress day after day week after week but look at the chart of the weekly chart of uh, uh, the uh, basis of the nifty and the bank nifty you will see that uh, gone are the days when uh, the hefty basis that we used to see in october november and december are history now so basis has actually been falling and many a times intraday i see basis of the nifty go into negative which means the future is actually trading at a discount to cash all right so 
that tells you that there is higher risk appetite amongst the bears to short sell but very little risk appetite amongst the bulls to buy which explains the very small amount of basis enjoyed by the indices at the beginning of the derivative cycles also can you use the basis on individual stocks yes definitely any stock that is in the fno space you can use the basis it's basically the futures price minus the spot price at that prevailing time the third and final uh, uh, indicator that i want you to do yourself is the mwpl mwpl stands for market wide position limits now what is market wide position limits and why should you care i want to help my viewers not just to use these indicators but also understand why they are using these indicators so that they have better confidence in their own work now the mwpl is nothing but the amount of derivative exposure utilized by the entire market as compared to the total net exposure allowed by sebi and the stock exchange so if you are allowed to take 1 crore lots in futures and options but the traders have utilized only 50 lakh lots the mwpl stands at 50 that is a very simple explanation of what is happening out there unfortunately the financial market industry specializes in jargonizing and using a lot of technicalities which confuses a retail investor these are just complex sounding words don't get intimidated it's all very simple and i can help you in my videos to uh, uh, basically unravel the uh, uh, jargon and get you the real message behind that so now the mwpl the mwpl the higher it is the higher is the risk appetite because traders are saying okay we have limits to buy let's buy up to that limit can mwpl market wide go up to 100% hey that's not possible at all because some stock will be 3% some will be 30 some will be 80 some will be 90 all right so the entire market's average mwpl can never be 100 but can individual stocks mwpl be 100 the answer is yes traders can get ecstasy traders can get sad they can get bearish on it so they can buy uh, 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 beyond limits and they can short beyond limits so individual stock mwpl can go to 100 can it remain zero no it cannot remain zero the only way mwpl can go to zero is if the stock is not traded at all if it is not traded if it is illiquid believe me every 6 months there is a review of stocks that are uh, uh, existing in the fno list and it would get chucked out for non uh, 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 no volume or lack of volume as a percentage of its uh, free float so mwpl cannot be zero for individual stocks it can go to 100 but overall market it cannot go to 100 now the weekly chart of mwpl on your screen you see up to october november i used to see mwpl peaking out at 32 to 34% but after december i have noticed that the mwpl is peaking out at between 28 to 29% so risk appetite has actually shrunk by 10% after december are you surprised that the markets are showing you signs of sluggishness because there is no risk appetite now what is the mwpl indicating it is indicating the risk appetite of two marshmallow traders these are traders who uh, uh, initiate a position and carry it over to the next day which is why the mwpl changes on a day to day basis where do you get this data ideally speaking you should get it from your broker's terminal or your mobile phone app on the fly in the fno space but if not then definitely from the nse's website all right so when will the market show signs of bottoming out when the mwpl across the board starts to rise when 
do you think you will say that the MWPL has actually started to rise? I think it would take a minimum of 30 to 32 percent of MWPL to be arrived and sustain over a couple of days before I can say that the sun is shining on the bulls all over again. So do remember my friends, these are leading indicators which will tell you way ahead of uh, what the media, what uh, social media, what uh, uh, the chatter of uh, traders in, in uh, online chat groups etc. will tell you because this is market trading action in real time. This tells you on the fly that the market has turned and this is where you should keep your ears to the ground to take signals of the market as it trades. I hope this video helps you become far better traders and you can make a lot of money both in individual stocks and the indices Nifty and the Bank Nifty. All these three studies can be used like I said manually with a piece of paper and pencil and digitally and on individual stocks in the FNO space as well as in indices. So this is a very very healthy and profitable set of tools depending on how the feedback to this video is. I am open to the idea of sharing many more such ideas with my viewers. On this promising note, I bid goodbye to you not before reminding you to click like on this video if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so and good, bad or ugly, I welcome your comments in the feedback. Uh, I welcome your feedback in the comment space. Also, please help fellow like-minded investors and traders by sharing this video with your family and friends. I thank you for your patience in uh, uh, watching this video with me and I wish you have a very, very profitable day ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.